Hi, I'm Dana with Devotion Nutrition and you're in my kitchen making one of the recipes that pretty much inspired the buttery blend protein. It's something that I love and I really do miss even like on a day-to-day -day basis and that is pizza. So in order to make the protein pizza, we really had to nail a delicious crust and then all the toppings are are a bonus. But I'm gonna show you today how we make an air fryer crust with the buttery blend. Now I have a six inch pan right here and you can really make everything right in the pan. I just spray the pan and keep in mind, you can make this crust, you can really customize this crust. You can make it with just water, you can use egg whites, you can use whole egg. You, uh, We've been making biscuits and things and crusts with um, Greek yogurt, so don't be afraid to experiment, but this is just one way that we've been making the crust, and I think it's pretty fantastic. You can take a scoop of buttery blend, or actually even just a half a scoop is enough, because if you like a thick crust pizza, you can use more, but I like a thinner, crispy crust, so I'm even just gonna use half a scoop of buttery blend. And because I like a thin crust, I'm not gonna use baking powder in this particular recipe. Now, I am gonna use some sea salt. Buttery blend does have a little bit of sweetness and it always helps to offset it. And I use a little pink Himalayan sea salt. Um, Italian seasoning is perfect for this recipe. I like to add Italian seasoning, oregano, and I do always like to add a little bit of garlic to all of my Italian-inspired recipes. And this is so simple. And this one is a personal-sized pizza. I just poured in a little bit of egg whites. Now, I've done this with whole eggs, and I've done it with just water. And the, all those versions are just fine for me. Now you're gonna think, geez, Dana, that doesn't really make that much. It just coats the pan super thin, but that's fine. For a crispy, thin crust pizza, it works out really well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this pan, I'm gonna pop it into my air fryer, and I'm just gonna watch it because the key to getting it super crispy is watching it crisp on the top. And once the crust starts to kind of rise and pull away from the pan, you're gonna flip it over and crisp up the other side. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, so now I took the crust out and I flipped it over in the middle. So I pretty much watch it and, it, and I let it get as crispy as I, as I desire. So you can see it's a pretty thin crust, it's crispy on both sides. Now what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of my pasta sauce some people like more, some people like less. And I'm covering my little pizza. This is a really perfect size for a personal pizza at night. Now if you need more protein, I love to put shredded chicken on top. But um, today, I'm gonna do a little bit of cheese. I have some turkey pepperoni that is fantastic. So I'm gonna put a few of these on top. And that's it. You can, you can always top with a little bit more Italian seasoning, a little bit of Parmesan, and we are gonna pop this right back into the air fryer for a few minutes just to melt everything together, and our pizza will be complete. And there it is, a perfect little personal pan pizza. Super crispy. Pizza for one. Mm. Oh my god, delicious.